Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Metroid Zero Mission. Last time we totally had a grump moment where I uh, could not figure out where to go for the life of me. But you know what? It's fine. We actually figured it out. So it's all good. We're all good in the hood. So it's fine. We finally uh, active activated these things. Oh, okay. Well, I feel shit. God damn. Okay. Okay, I'm learning this thing slowly but surely. Okay, I thought he gave up. At this point, I'm just going to launch missiles. Oh. Whoa! Okay. I'm getting knocked around. Oh, shit! There we go, finally it's dead. Okay. Okay. Well, that was weird. <laughs> oh, I actually can't get out of here. Okay. See, the good news is that I'm not stuck anymore. The bad news is, is that I'm stuck somewhere else. Here we go. There you go. That totally excuses... Excuse me, the last episode, right? I promise you, Kraid will be beaten in this episode. So I was there. I was right from the beginning on um, going this way. I just didn't uh, didn't tackle it the right way. Oh, and I don't have the map anymore. So I need to re I need to re get the map data, which you know should be easy. Now that I have the um, track thingy. Alright, but we're just gonna hop a roo in the uh, in the save room. Or not, we're not gonna go in the save room, actually. Oh, it's down there. Alright. Alright, hit up that missile tank. And get over here. I'll use the lobbies. Damn. And then I shall need a replacement weapon. <laughs> oh my god, you know what? I should use that Jumanji clip for like a meme or something. Um, in NES Metroid, you're only allowed to carry the uh, wave beam or the um Okay, why am I going out there? You can only carry the wave beam or the um ice beam at once. 
Like, in this game, they probably integrate it into one beam so that, you know, you don't have to do that shit. But in the original game, like, you had to switch between the ice beam and wave beam, so pretty much it's just common knowledge. Like, never get the wave beam, just stick with the ice beam. But <laughs> I just thought of a funny clip from Jumanji to use for, like, when you end up you getting the, uh, like, get getting the wave beam to Torian by complete mistake. Then you're like, damn. <laughs> But then you find out, like, uh, you're not allowed to kill Metroids with the away beam, so you're like, Damn, I shall need a replacement weapon. <laughs> because at that point, you need a replacement weapon. You know. Which is the ice beam. Okay, so now there's no more bullshit with these areas. Thank God. There you go. See, I'm glad I didn't give up and just... Uh, look up a walkthrough. Like, I'm glad I didn't do that. Like, cause I could've just cheated and done that, you know, but that would take out the fun of Metroid, you know? Cause, fucking, look at me. I'm going through all these areas and, oh wait, oh, oh, okay, now I know what that is. Oh. What the fuck is this thing? All right, well, that's a death trap with a... That's a death trap with a neon sign on it. Dear God. So, basically, both of these doors are completely useless. Okay. So, both of these doors are useless. Uh, at least currently, they're useless. Uh, I'm gonna go down here first. Is this one with track? Yes, it is. Ah, okay. Okay, so I have to go down here and... Bring the track over there. Or not. Well, actually, that's, uh... Actually, that brings the track. Fuck it. I'm not gonna figure it out. <laughs> I mean, I hate the speed booster. I hate the speed booster. No, it's fine. If these guys actually want to give me energy, then... I consider it good energy farming. Okay, fuck. There has to be a way to get that. Whatever. I'm not even gonna try. Uh, the map room's down here, I believe. Or not. Oh, come on! See, I have two energy tanks now, so I have to make them useful. Okay, yeah, let's get to the map room. Get your ass to Mars. Alright, there. Trade map data acquired. Kaboom! Kabloosh. There we go. Kabloosh. Kablooski. Alright, there. So I'm back here now. Should be able to go down here. What the fuck? Uh, okay. I'm really 
really stunk. I still have no clue where I'm supposed to go. Like, I've gone everywhere, and it seems like I just, I can't figure out a way to actually use these things to my effectiveness. Okay, well, that's the, um, block area, so you can't do anything there. Alright, so I need the rippers to be going this way. In me mu are you fucking kidding me? Are, are you serious? Why does it take one slip to send you so back in these platform sections? Why? This is why, like, I'm kind of glad that Metroid is going back to 2D, but at the same time, this is what I hate about Metroid platforming. Half the time, if you just make one little tiny mistake when platforming, it sends you so far away. It sends you so far far down for no reason okay i feel like i've been here before and it led me to that death trap that's what it did it led me to that death trap i don't like that well then again that was more of my choice to go up there wasn't it i don't know maybe i should try to go here again all right you go through this door oh okay i went up that's why because i guess i didn't want to go up through the down through the acid it's fake acid you tricky bitches I might actually be able to face Kraid in this video. Cool! Mm. I'm sorry, but uh, you guys can't fool me. You guys can't fool me. I mean, I saw those thingies in the ground. I mean, I went for it. Okay. There you go. At least, unlike last episode, we make we made some progress, you know. Okay, so you can get back. Oh wait, no, you can't. You need to find the unknown item. I don't know if I can. Oh, there. Uh, can you go up through the other room? Oh, you can go up through the other room. Nice. See, that's the beauty of Metroid level design. Like, it allows you to get these things. Yeah, I think it... I know, sing it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people only know that sound clip from some Call Me Johnny, and it's like... I get that, you know, some people just are clueless about things, but... I actually know where he's getting the reference, otherwise just... Otherwise, you're not gonna get the reference, you know? Like, that's the way I see it, you know? If you don't want to get the reference, then you don't need to get the reference, okay? Simple as that, you know? Right. Oh no, I hate these fly things! Okay. Uh, uh, uh. I had to kill a fly earlier. That was a pretty big bloodbath. Oh my god, Kraid is in the next room, but what do I do? How to get how do I get to him? How do I get to Kraid? Do I drop down from here? Ah, oh, that's why there's a save room! Of course that's why there's a save room. Okay. Ah! There you go, that's how you get down there. Alright. Good. That's how you fuck it up, I think. Yeah, so I don't have the speed booster. So I bet I'm supposed to hit these blocks out of the way. So I can get over here. Okay, nice. Oh, that's a lot easier than it was in Fusion. Alright, there we go.
have a snack. It's kind of explosive. <laughs> have a snack. It's kind of explosive. He's warning. Well, that's, that's some super Metroid effects right there. Now, I remember the battle in the... Uh, ori oh. Anyway, this door opens. Ugh. Die, Kraid. There we go. Alright, let's kill him. And it gives me the speed booster. Guess what? I hate the speed booster. I don't like the speed booster, not one bit. I hate the speed booster. I didn't even lose one E tank to that guy. Well, actually, I might have. Oh, yeah, because I healed myself. Right. There we go. Alright. Is that not enough running room? Ugh. Okay, there we go. Boosh! Oh, there's probably speed booster blocks at the end of this. Uh, how do I get out? Oh. Okay, so number one, uh... There, I'm pretty sure that's enough running room. There we go. Okay. So now we're back in Kraid's Lair. And I think in the original game, I absolutely loathed this area. Are you kidding me? In fact, in this game, I absolutely loathe. Yeah. Like, getting down to where Crate is, it's cake. It's fun. You know, it's, it's good. It's good experience. This shit is fucking obnoxious. Alright, fuck this. I'm just gonna blast my way through here. You're fuck trying to jump on... Fuck trying to jump on the rippers. And I think they added in those platforms just that you don't have to do that. Because let's get real here. This kind of platforming, it sucks. It's really freaking terrible. And nobody likes playing this kind of platforming. Okay. Yes, a save room. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave in the next episode. Screw it. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.